How would you ever play League of Legends? I came from Dota in Warcraft 3 and played so, Dota 2 before so that's Heroes. A hard no. It it's it'd be very <laughs> different and I don't think it's where I'd go You'd if play Heroes... Dota before League of Legends. Right. So if Heroes he... shut down today, it's not where I'd go first. I I've always been a little curious about League. I haven't found a companion to walk me through it. Uh to like help me find characters that I would enjoy. And it's hold... a lot of fun when you mute everyone. <laughs> the flash, the level system. Uh, I, I, I've got some issues with uh, how you get more powerful as you level. So I've just never made the investment. I've heard that, Cirrus. I've heard that possible connection. I think it's fascinating. Uh, uh... Boy, there's Rexar up top So I'll be interested to see if, it gets, if there's more evidence to link that. Artanis. This is our first Hanamura in ranked. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. I'm kind of tempted to go Rexar because he can solo the camp. Can you do Rexar uh, at Diamond 5 level, though? I Probably not as well as other I'd, things. I mean, I honestly at this point would stick with who you know. Yeah. Right? Well, we should give we should give another front line to this pile that's building. All right, so we're going to try Thrall again today, but if yeah. this is a loss, we'll kind of push him back down to the side. Because yesterday, Thrall was pretty rough. Thrall was rough yesterday. In Diamond 5. Yes. Not you rough, but, you know, there he are... wasn't performing right. as well as in uh, Plat 1. There are strong decisions to make that I perhaps am not ready to make. And that is a Diablo to lead with. Mm-hmm. So... Jungle Artanis, great on Hanamura. Maybe, yeah, because we will need a Merker. And Artanis allows me to get past Diablo better than... Oh, right. good point. So Good point. I still think Kael'thas is great, but we don't yeah, want to take him into Johanna. Yeah, but we got an here. So we're starting to build a, a rapport I really like where... Yeah. I'm finding what sort of things are dependent on what. All right, Neutronoff wants to know who's Skeletus. Who is he? Where he's from? Was he completely made up by you? He is the Probius of the Diablo universe, the random skeleton, a multi-class that you pick either mage, archer, or sword and board. And at level 20, he has a Dark Souls reference where he his mount is a wheel. And he rolls around. Oh my goodness, that's genius. Wheelie skeletons. That's genius. And then you're indestructible. And in more, I mean, basically, once you get the wheel at 20, GG. We need percent He's from the bone damage. zone, it says. Yes. <laughs> Is this a stealth reboot of Hero Forge? Absolutely. That's a lot of damage there, Sylvie. From okay. the Sylvie, hopefully. I miss it too. All right, so we're having we're, we're just having a bit of a conversation right now. We need to figure out Hanamura and Nazebo. What's the Nazebo doing? Is it oh. going solo lane, or is it stacking toads? They want my Urel, in fact, but or something to CC Genji. Oh, gotcha. We can go Thrall. Would Urel be a better CC for Genji, though? She would knock him. You got nine seconds. You have to land the Harry and Garrosh. To the horn. Cool. So what we decided is Nazebo is going to be doing toads in lane. Uh, oh. Sylvanas can go do camps while Thrall handles the solo lane. Mm. They were wanting Garrosh, but that means we're really without a solo lane hero. And they're missing a solo lane hero too, so I think this goes pretty well in our favor. Well, we'll see. As long way. as the Genji can be controlled. Right. 
Because and hopefully... Sylvie's pretty squishy, as is Nazebo toward the end. Yeah. So we shall. As long as we're on it, you got to be protecting them, though. I think that might be your job. Yeah. And we've got a we've got a Zarya that we can target instead of the Diablo. Yeah. But I think this because of the low health pools here mm -hmm. on the assassins. Mm -hmm. I think this might be a a map to finally try out that feral spirit business. Are you gonna focus the tanks? That's the idea. Okay. Well, the two frontliners there too. Could you have done melee Uther with the white main? That's a really cool idea. I'm still concerned about the solo lane and who takes it. Gotcha. Be because they don't have a solo lane is the whole reason why I'm obsessing yeah. with this. They didn't pick a good solo lane. Okay. So I can beat, I can win that lane for my team. Okay. Any chance for some Malganus tonight? Oh yeah, I love playing Malganus. I really like him alongside a light tank like Imperius or Garrosh. And if we end up in that sort of like we need a regen alongside Anduin, I think he's great. All right, now now do I have to be really careful about making sure we get our classifications correct? Since Imperius is a bruiser. Right. I'm not a light tank. Right. I'm, Unless we consider four, bruisers light tanks. I still think their naming system is awful. I think they should have gone with a tag system. And I've been saying that for a long time. Yes. I really think they should have done a tag system. Yes. Because Imperius is more tanky than Sonya is. Yes. Sonya's more tanky than Malthiel, but they're all bruiser. Like, you know, who would you want to? I'd rather have an Imperius frontline any day. Yes. And cosplay when the baby's born. I'm absolutely doing a uh, training I'm Luke in, on Dagobah, and I'm going to put little Yoda ears on our kid. And then Kyle's going to be the headless Darth Vader. I think that may be our Halloween costume this year. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a great one. <laughs> It'll be warm. It'll be great. And Yoda, thank you so much for the sub. It's time to press the button. Hey, yeah. Now you're feeling, feeling great. Feeling great. It's, uh, it's been easy. I gotta say, I'm very lucky in that regard. Hidden textbook predictable. Not that bad. But here we are. Game number one of the day in Storm League. Welcome, everybody. To all you watching this later. To all you watching now in the chat. Yes! Oh no! Genji coming in! Poking our thrall on our team. We've got a Sylvanas, Kyle on thrall, White Mane, Nazebo, Muradin. Enemy team on this Hanamura. Oh, showdown! Ooh, this is a Zarya, Chromie, Genji, Diablo, and a Lucio. Genji certainly knows his damage well. Yes, he does. He is trading with me. Pretty darn good. He, I mean, he is named Top Gun 707. I don't know if there's any beating that. As long as you work on your stacks, though, right? Nice route. Oh, okay, Zarya's Zarya. here, so we're just going to back up. Let that happen. We are solo lane up top here against the Zarya. Genji headed mid bottom. Cool. Unless he's working on a camp at this point. We do have a level lead, half a level lead, so we're four. They are three. They'll be hitting four here soon. Everyone else is bottom. So how do you think this matchup is going to go against the Zarya? I think we're going to do pretty well because we're going to steal her orbs. Okay. Since she is a little ranged. We're All not right. going to feed into her shields as much as some others might since we can really control where our damage is coming from a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take some damage here so I can whittle these dudes down. Yep. Did she take the orb quest? That's a good question. Halo deployment is about to she did. Okay. So in that case, we let her win this lane. And then we deny her two globes, potentially. Yep, Those that's potential the goal. two globes. We want to always want... Oh, she's getting right on top ah, of Ah, there we there. go. She knows what she wants. Yep, she wants orbs. So we'll just uh, let her get too close to the wall there. And we'll take that orb there to kind of slow down her progress. But maybe she wasn't making too pro too much progress bottom, so they tried to trade it out. And the first payload is up and ready to go. It has spawned in mid. Looks like there's a big fight going on mid. Genji, Diablo, and Lucio for the enemy team are all dead. Zarya going in to help with that. It looks like Nize or Sylvanas and Nazebo are going to be the two to push. So we should join in this. Help kick Zarya off. Because remember, with this payload, max three people, max three stacks of speed. Yep. We don't want to put everyone on here if we don't need them. Nazebo throwing out some toads to zone. Sylvanas kind of hitting the site camp as best she can. 
Looks like enemy team is full up, so we still want to make sure this thing gets in. The enemy team could show up to fight this off at any time, but it looks like they're go- Oh no, they show up right at the end. The Zarya, everyone is here. We need to be careful. Genji in the back line going on our white main. Toad's coming out on the Zarya into her shield. Zarya goes down. Diablo, however, is moving on our Sylvanas, who's very squishy and is going to be very, very susceptible to the damage from the Genji. But it looks like she's a fighter, a mover, and a shaker. And we run out of this chromie range just in time. Get a heal from white main, and now we head bottom. All right. So the That's trick is... Off. And it looks like Sylvanas is there with the team helping turn yeah. off those buildings. And that means we're going to maybe get this top fort. I think our team's going to try and secure top fort while we're here bottom again against Zarya. Seems like they decided to rotate up that Genji to see if they can capitalize on killing any of Kyle's team's squishies. We are three dings away from finishing Echo of Elements. Zarya headed up. To the team fight. It looks like we won't be getting that top fort. There we go. We're done. Echo is complete. But team we're fight almost going. 10. Let's get in on it. Ah. Two. Oh, no. Down goes the Sylvanas. Stay bottom soaking XP, man. You're not going to. I mean, are they? They're pretty low. I can maybe come in on Genji. No, your team's backed up, man. The Zebo's backing. Just, oh, no. Kyle got grabbed by the Chromie ult. You have a health steal if you need it. Yep. Nice root going out. Oh, but it's too late and down Kyle goes. Bummer. But the rest of Kyle's team is up, ready to go. So they're going to see if they can... Oh, they're going to work yeah. on this uh, Sentinel camp here bottom, get that pushing bottom lane. Muradin is actually top working on Getting a gun. that little lane. Mm-hmm. All right, we got our Sentinel, and we're going to head top, solo that. All right. I say stun here, because we want to Looks like our Genji. enemy team has found a solo Zarya, and they're going to try and complete that kill. Lucio has just shown up with a Diablo. I don't know if they did enough damage to do anything. They did. The Zarya goes down. We're going to join Muradin up top here, take the site camp. Go ahead and get some XP, the globe, and site. Get some stacks, too. Mm -hmm. And then with the enemy team busy bottom, that means they aren't going for their sentinels. So we're just having our team bottom there push with that. Looks like he's down already. And we're simply going to soak the XP. Oh, down goes the Genji again. Nice. And the payload is spawning in about nice. 10 seconds. Diablo's Those are down. kills from that, that samurai does a lot of damage. So our sentinel wasn't down. He's still going. They were backing yeah, up. Yeah, he does I a big he old swipe. Oh, and Gargantuan is out. Looks like Mazebo went with Gargantuan. So they're going to secure this bottom fort. Payload's up, Kyle. You should start moving that. But I can get this fort. But you're right. I don't know the... You should get the payload. Well, you have 18 seconds on the Zarya. Because that lane collapse would have fallen would've taken on. Care of it. Yeah. 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 You can tell that Kristen is our, our bruiser slash camp director on our five stack team <laughs> director with a capital d thank you thank you well it's easy to forget an objective is up but the enemy team is full up now luckily our team is joining us here sylvanas first to enter into the ring enemy team will probably try and defend against this yep. nazebo is back full muradin is back full so no need to get too aggressive here muradin saying don't fight yet we gotta wait for him and nazebo We're so pushed out, we can't get 13. No camps available to us. Well, that's okay. You're going to get 13 here real soon. It's going. It's that passive XP. Oh, Toads of Hugeness coming in, doing a lot of damage. Chromie trying to peck from the background. But these poison shots from the Nazebo are doing great. His zoning is fantastic. We are on the Chromie. Nice Sunder goes out. Knocks her out of the way. We're on the bridge. <laughs> coming out of a time... Oh, time trap as she dies. Down goes the Genji. That is a nice. full team wipe. So we're going to walk in this objective. Now you can go to a lane and solo a push. And I want to steal their samurai. All right. But hey, we don't know no time. Okay. So it's 
instead of the sentinel camp, we're gonna take their bottom gun. Walk in the payload, number two. Okay. And now we're on our way to get sight bottom. And Thrall's gonna go ahead and start on our Sentinel. A bit yeah. safer call since the enemy team is full res at the moment. And they're gonna have all of their old stuff and ready to go. Now, currently, Kyle's team has a very strong advantage because all enemy forts are down. However, the enemy team did grab their Sentinel top, which we can answer. Nazebo can probably just melt with his poison. Because how many stacks is Nazebo at right now? I can't imagine. 40? 84? So not too many. This is a two-lane map, and he's been in one lane pretty much for the entirety of it. And down goes the Sentinel. We also did have one of those periodic catapults with us, so that certainly helps. Looks like Sylvanas wants to push. Bottom. Yes, we see them all bottom working on our Sentinel. And we can get pretty aggressive here because we know we have a few seconds before they can answer. And top. if we have Gargantuan. Mm -hmm. Gargantuan can soak the shots of this keep. Oh, okay. Zarya has been left bottom by herself, it looks like. She so won't the go that team fast. will show up. But it won't be in time to stop the keep coming down. All right, Murden. It's pretty aggressive going on that Genji. A nice stun, but a beat is dropped from Lucio. So the enemy team gets to back up and reposition. We're going to want to back up and not pursue this because we are level 15. Mm -hmm. And this would be a death if we fight in decor. So Muradin is trying to do what he can to zone to get everyone back. Good job. Nice pokes from everybody. Nazebo's going to take the top way by himself. Well, we're oh, all Muradin making another run. engage. Muradin re-engaging because the enemy team is leaving the safety of their core. So if we can make this happen, we can push core after this. Lots of damage on the Lucio. Fire breath on the Genji. Or no, that's the Diablo on the enemy team. Fire breath on Kyle's team. Genji dies though, followed soon by the Lucio. Down goes the Zarya. Toplin. Like Legos, and now we're on their core level 16. I think we can do this. Diablo's up. He had some souls there. Chromie's poking from the background, but she's not gonna do enough damage to really scare anybody. Sylvanas. Ooh, taking possession. I think there and turning some of the summoned lane minions against the Chromie. And that's a DG. Well, that went pretty well. That was very solid. Yeah, yeah. All right. Dominant victory. Yeah, cool. So I'm glad the Thrall thing was a fluke yesterday. MVP. We, so when we play in the morning, mages are better. When we play in the evening, frontline's better mm -hmm. is something that we've noticed. But I think the draft there with us getting a better solo lane than them gave us a really big oh, edge in the bottom yeah because as, as they we've, rotated uh, around we've noted on cursed hollow at least if you have the lane clear yeah you're gonna be pretty dominant so with a nazebo and a thrall there mm. that was good stuff yeah it's very interesting what did nazebo go totes. he went toads yeah what he should have done bring a poison ice block and we got chromie on that Though I think Genji was a better Genji than my Thrall. He definitely had more experience than my Thrall because he traded with me really well there and knew his health and his damage. This is why I only climb on the Hearthstone ladder during the workday on evenings and weekends. <laughs> it's a cluster. It's true, the personality of a game will shift greatly depending on what time of day you play it. No, that doesn't play... Oh, but it's his highest level character. I mean, he just had a really good awareness of the Genji health and how to lock on. It was a fine performance. Lots of Diablo. Losses in the last two Diablo. Overwhelming Affliction. Oh, wow. This is actually a really unique Sylvanas build. Enemy heroes with three stacks of Banshee's Curse are slowed by 15%. Sylvanas oh. basic attacks against slowed enemies deal 1% of their maximum health as damage. That may have been because we were talking about getting a percent base damage for our team. Mm. Barb shot hitting the same enemy with five shots of Withering Fire causes the fifth shot to deal 350% bonus damage. Remorseless increased Sylvanas' basic attack range by one. Sylvanas' basic attacks against enemy heroes with three stacks of Banshee Curse shoot an untalented withering fire nice. and life drain and a mind control but didn't really come into play no not that's really. a really weird sylv build from what 
But little... she was good. Yeah, huh? She, she was awesome. I don't think she died to that Genji once. Yeah. And it looks like the white main updates have done some things. It broke the sort of stacking mm -hmm. of the plain talents. These are really solid. 13 and 16. Basically an AA sylv. Yeah, I mean, she was in lane, two lane map with Nazebo. And they so, didn't have I a mean, Merker I either. Guess she figured she needed the AA for the team fights there, right? Yeah. She Because you guys were spell, she needed to be the deleter. What's the single target? What's super sad about their team comp is that they didn't pick a solo lane, which we won, mm -hmm. and they didn't pick a Merker. So if mm -hmm. Zarya was instead Sonya, but that's the weird part about what we don't really know about Hanamur is if we should draft for the third lane, oh, the yes. middle lane, yeah. basically. Do you need a solo laner and a Merker, or is it more like Braxis where Mercs are in incidental to victories? The amount of XP that Hanamura camps give suggests that having a third laner is really powerful. Mm. But we don't know. Yeah. We don't know. It never saw HGC play. I guess it didn't, did no. it? At least not this Not the iteration. new one. A great success with the third. Yeah, it seems to be successful. I think in general, it's a really good strategy, particularly in solo play to overwhelm with camps. We see Murky's probably doing it the most. Sonya's here and there, but oh, there's like false dads. Yeah, lots of false dads. For sure. Uh, good bright, bright wings, wings also know how to. Right. So is the XP you gain out of that camp going to equal out what you're able to do? Yeah, and ultimately, if you're the offlaner, it's completely... What you do is completely dependent on how well your core stack is doing. Yeah. Because if the force... Yeah, like, you, like you're saying, if the force stack's doing great, you can have that third person. As soon as an enemy is dead, or two enemies are dead, they take off to do some jungling, and then they immediately return. Yeah, and with Sylvanas and Nazebo, can you just speed through something that someone else can? A lot can... faster, yeah. Certainly with that Sentinel camp, the Samurai. Mm -hmm. Well, and in the end, too, if it's a race for camps, the faster you can assert dominance, the faster you have a chance to move to the next camp. Or uh, the more people you can leave individually at a camp, the more camps you can cover. Yeah. Yeah, I still don't really know what the Zarya was for. I guess the Genji. But... I feel like Zarya is often an overreaction. Either you should just be Maybe pro Zarya. Maybe she thought she was gonna poke the back line. Oh, the, the old. Nazebo, I've done the that Sylvanas. before. The only... But the white main just does such decent healing in such big bursts that it completely cancels out any kind of fear coming from the and then maybe yeah. she was thinking her ult would suck in everybody genji would x strike on and then it. the apocalypse goes off with diablo yeah. or even the breath yeah there was a time where i felt like zarya was really good when stealths were reigning supreme mm -hmm. because you could catch someone out of position speed boost them out of that position while also throwing poke at the stealth to make sure they're revealed mm -hmm. and moving around mm -hmm. the problem is they did the valera update where she teleports oh, at yeah. five range and Zarya is super weak to silence. Yeah. So Zarya's one thing she was good at became. Yeah. Hey, hey man. Could, uh, thank thing. you so much for the prime twenty-two months. We're gonna do the hey, hey, one man. more time. Oh yeah. Good to see you. Thank you for the twenty-two months of support. Uh oh, we got serious mode. A garden tear. Serious mode. This well, is a right. camp map. This is a camp map. This is a, you need a third laner map. You need lane clear map. So should we perhaps, well, we got a false stat already. Well, that's a good sign though. You need to be um, spell with those two top picks. You need spell damage. You do Nazebo. Mm. I do like Nazebo, that idea. Anyone here have any idea how long it takes? overcome a negative personal rank adjustment. I am a low bronzer and when I'm in bronze 5 it seems to go away, but when I climb to bronze 3, I only get 185 rank points for a oh. victory, but then I lose 215 due to personal rank adjustment. Is my MMR really <laughs> that bad? Uh, so the only way that I've found to do it is to 
end a season with a winning spree and then just stop playing if you want to game the system a little yeah. bit because that means you'll go into the next season with it assuming okay. you're on your way up never end a season in a losing spree is what is one of the things i'm oh, it's suggesting your ban. you could ban a bright wing or a that's not a bad idea we still don't have a support though picked out but at the same Anna's time gone. unless someone on your team is going to take bright wing we'll get rid of oh wait we were showing a zero tool for a brief moment but we'll ban zero tool okay the only way to counter an in season while still playing is to overcome a hump with a winning spree so we've had negative adjustment all season monday we went on a five game winning spree and now we're dead even yeah so the game is now assuming that i am beyond the level of my current play or i'm at my new level as it were I'm, okay. okay, I'm glad somebody banned the Abathur. We've seen some scary Abathurs recently. I'm glad you're enjoying the commentary. I certainly have fun doing it. So Falstad's a great first pick. We got more than enough spell damage. There's as Ooh. There's a camper. Yeah. And she's got a great skin on. Uh. So we got a Phoenix. Well, there we got our burst. And we really don't need a diva. Are you going to have to be a healer here? I either healer or support or tank, right? Like, this is pretty weird. I really li don't like Johanna into Sonya. I think Mount Gannis is okay. I play to win. What are you going to ban this next go? Uh, hmm. Right wing. Yeah, I think so, unless... uh. <laughs> what are you going to ban? Because I have an answer for <laughs> you. Because I've got an answer right here. <laughs> I've got some thoughts. Okay. He wants to... Oh, dear. All right. All right, we're calling him out a little bit, but we're, we're trying, just saying... Yeah, we're trying to push We Oscar, need some front so. line. What can you play, Oscar? But otherwise, if he doesn't, you're going to need to do some big heals. Do you think Alex might be good in this? Uh, let's see. What do you play? Oh, my God. He oh, plays nothing he does but not. He's got a Varian. Varian. I shall do what I must. Varian and a... Stukov, Stukov, okay. Cool. Cool. And I like the... Because um, the Alex, the Stukov. Cool. With the Onagon. What, which variant, though, would you want him to play? I mean, the Stukov's... It really doesn't matter. Okay. I mean... All right. I, I, of course, I we want... We got five bucks on Twin Blades. I really want him to tank, naturally. I want him okay. to do taunt. Okay. But... The words oh dear during draft are always frightening cool we did it we looked at his profile we found something he actually enjoys playing but if he goes twin blades it's not really a big deal it's not the end of the world <laughs> because stukov and diva will help make a front line i just want phoenix to be comfortable because phoenix does no damage unless he can okay. actually stand for an extended period of time yeah unfortunately the alarak's gonna make that difficult oh as the alarak the yeah alarak is gonna be Let's a not real underestimate the zuljins that we've seen alaraks are you know 50 50. we've seen some bad ones we've seen some good ones yeah. but the zuljins are always pretty legit I see more Good luck, salvo Motizzle. than Planet Cracker. And I think with the slows from Phoenix, myself, Varian, and Falstad. Yes, and Falstad. I think that Planet Cracker, uh, Salvo would be the best bet here. Hmm. But it does apply over time, but so does the other one. So maybe it doesn't matter too much. I am honestly think I'm going to go range on my arm so I can interrupt every Alex Draza heal. Ooh. Ooh. That way, too, I don't have to be so close to Zul'jin. He's just standing there hitting me okay. while I do underground arm. Yeah. It's like we got three boosts in this game. How exciting. 
Well, welcome everybody. Game number two, uh, Storm we'll League. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are Garden of Terror. We first game was on Hanamura. This next yeah. one, we're getting all the new maps. We Garden get a bit of, of a tour. Terror. Yeah, it's a refreshment into Storm League here. Our team, a little bit of a change up. Kyle and Stukov with a Varian, a Diva, a Phoenix, and a Falstad. And then the enemy team is a bit hearty because they have themselves an Anubarak and a Sonya with a Zuldin, Alarak, and Alex. So they're, we'll call them the thick team. Yeah, it's pretty, it's a scary team. Yes, sure. but if our team can stay wily, we should be okay. I'm we thinking of doing low be okay. blow because if I'm going to interrupt a heal. Well, it looks like we got a beetle build coming out of a Nubarak already. Four beetles at level one. Is that even a thing? Oh, yeah, if he casts all his spells in one big pile. He casts his spells in one big pile. So that's four beetles, folks. Looks like we got the lane clear here in level one. Nubrak diving deep, trying to get that Sukov. Alarak following up with a pull, but not actually pulling too far. I think you got stuck on your teammate, and that helped. So we have Falstad top yep, against the Sonya, really which will actually be a great matchup for that Falstad, right? Because if you're up against a melee lane clear, be range, and then you just poke them. Oh. Ta-da! It, it looks like... Uh, Phoenix lost his. Oh, Phoenix got eyes for that Zuljin. Nice silence going out on him and some nice damage from the Phoenix on that. And then, of course, Diva is bottom against the Anubarak. So they're just going to be doing bumper cars till the cows come home. Pretty exciting matchup, if you ask me. All right, Stukov has rotated to the Giants. We have left mid alone, but that means two people are working on camps right now. Phoenix has gone top for those Giants while we are here mid with our Giants. And we're going to see if anything happens. Sonya is still in lane top, so we know she's not on a camp. However, everyone else on the enemy team has disappeared. So I think we can safely assume they're grabbing some camps as well. Yep, there go our giants. Diva's hearthing back. Varian is actually pretty close to the enemy bottom fort. Anubarak yeah, finds him. But I think he's just going to yeah, run back. Okay. It'll be okay. He might take some tower shots, but he's retreating, and that's fine. Zuljin just sitting in lane, actually not doing anything. Just hey, sitting well, on enough, his lion. enough awareness to see that I'm... All right. Oh, no, they see a phoenix coming in, and they hey, get a nice gank by the enemy that. team. And surprisingly, the enemy team actually only took one camp. They're mid-giants. Falstad pushing top with those giants, and we have 10 seconds on the seed spawn. Diva and Vary in bottom being answered by the Zuljin and Anubarak, and those bottom giants for the enemy team. All right, we're going to keep them in lane, so let's see if we can get a little bit of a lead here. So I'm going to tank these guys, try to pull them sideways, and hopefully Phoenix knows the sweet strat to just go ahead and channel. Okay, we got interrupted. But still, Phoenix was down with the sweet strap. All right, cool. So Phoenix knows that you can channel while someone else tanks the little seed demons, as it were. However, three of the enemy team have shown up, the Anubarak, the Alex, and the Alarak, and they're focused on that Sukov, but Sukov's going to get out okay. Diva there, she's got a bomb Dragon ready time. to go, actually. Dragon's here. Alex and Dragon for him. Phoenix at a very weird angle. Lots of damage out on that variant, but he's going to make it. Diva bomb is out. Unfortunately, the entire enemy team was able to run outside of it. So, oh, uh, Falstad's flying down. Falstad mid cleaning up the giants there. No one actually grabbed the seed yet. Varian going in by himself. Nice silence coming out. We're going to see if we can heal him. We do. Anubarak is in by himself. He's going to dive out of the way. And I think we have it protected. We've got the, the uh, seed protected. So Falstad's going to get that. And now we can go back to laning and XP and all that good stuff. We've got a slight XP lead. Both teams are six, but we'll be hitting seven before they do. Diva is off for greater glory on the night camp there at bottom. And uh, what did Varian go? Is he taunt? He's taunt. All right, Varian went taunt. Nice, Zuljin being targeted there. Diva gonna need a little bit of help getting out of that way, but she did quite a bit of damage on the Zuljin. And I'll be surprised with as targeted as he's been this game so far, he doesn't go Taz Dingo, even though Guillotine's been relatively popular. And Warren, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you. All right, what are we going with this? Uh, Level seven. When do we get range? That seed is ready for gathering. 
I suggest you <laughs> Actually, there's your now. darn five bucks. Is it? <laughs> is it gone Thank now? You. What is? Increased range of lurking arm. Okay, cool. Next seed is up. A new Brack dives on the Phoenix, but he's got his teleport. Unfortunately, it's being interrupted. So good plays on the enemy team. All right, Sonya and Anubrag going on the Stukov, but they immediately turned to go on that variant, which is a very sad decision. I think they could have had the Stukov, but you know, who knows? Anyway, there we go. Anubrag diving out of the way. We got a silence on the Alex and the Alarak. Phoenix already grabbed up the seed, and now we're back to laning. Sonya's actually been caught out, and with all this poke, she's not going to be able to do too much. And I think we secured the kill on the Sonya. I think your team is going to render Sonya very obsolete with all the poke you have. As long as no one gets caught. Oh, nice silence in the way of the Anubarak trying to escape. He walks into it and then dies. All right, the seed spawns in 25 seconds. And if okay, we get this one, mana. we get the curse. We're doing a really unique build here. All right, why is it so unique? Well, when we took biotic armor, but it gives 75% armor, physical armor, which is going to shut down Zul'jin. Okay. Is the idea. Yeah. Ooh, Varian going in early. He sees a grab on an Alarak. However, there is a Zul'jin from behind, so we need to back up. Alex is in dragon form. She's actually disengaging us. So thank you, Alex. However, they are going to need to kill the little gardeners before they can start on the seed. Phoenix coming in from the top angle, leaving Varian and Stukov bottom here. Big silence goes out on the enemy team. Sonya top working on the giant, so they are without their Sonya at the moment, which means if all of your team is Oh, we here, got a bomb on a slow. Nice Alaric, bomb body, on block, the body, block, body block, body block, body blocking him into the bomb, <laughs> and he goes night, night. It is seed time, friends. Kyle's team getting the first objective, and we've actually started the enemy giant's first rain starts pouring into the map. The giants are ours. Oh, we got a Zul Jin. It's not Cursed Hollow, though. I was no, thinking of going around Cursed the back Hollow, there. No, Cursed Hollow, don't go the back okay. way. <laughs> okay, I controlled myself. <laughs> All right, a new brag. Alex and Zul Jin are going to be defending bottom here, but we did take a very large silence radius. It looks like they'll be able to stop the seed from doing much here. It gets the gates down. It gets the towers down. We're chasing after that Zul Jin, doing some damage, but we won't be able to secure a kill. A Nubrak dives deep, trying to slow the Stukov there, but nice cover from our team, the Falstad and the Diva. We're going to heal up. We're going to fall back, unless we can get that well. I think we can. I love the well. However, mid has done great. Mid with the Giants have already pushed into mid keep. Top fort falls. And that leaves us with bottom fort because gotta... the enemy team has to answer top and mid. I'm going to see if I can get Varian out. He looks like he's okay, but that's a long walk home. Falstad actually flew up to help the Varian nice. there. Awesome responsiveness from the team. Great teamwork. And it all, it all kind of came together in draft because the Varian, who was not on any kind of tank, said that they would tank. Yep, he was up for it. He was up for changing what he really wanted to do. Okay. This is working great for everybody. All right, enemy team does have 10. Uh, Diva has to BRB because her phone's ringing, so we shouldn't engage this team fight here unless we can get a kill real fast. Nubrak almost dead, but a heal comes out from Alex. Nice disengage from the false ad, shove from the Stukov. Sonya, I think, did she take Wrath? Yes, she took Wrath of the Berserker. She's going oh. on the, come on, keep that variant alive. Planet Cracker is actually, oh, the Phoenix. Sonya goes down actually as Fe um, Planet Cracker goes oh, up. No. Alarak, oh, no. the back. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're Ooh. throwing a heal there to him. There we go. Him. He's going to try and juke his way out, but he's being chased by an Alarak, and I think Alarak gave up the fight. All right, our Diva's back. Nice, nice. We're going to shove Zul'jin away. We're not going to let him get any fights, Ooh. any kills. And this is the most teamworky team I think I've seen Kyle ever play with. Everyone's got each other's backs. Everyone's really into helping one another with the strats they want to pull off. It's very cool to watch. All right, we are level 13. We have a two level lead currently over the enemy team. The seed is spawning in 28 seconds. However, it's right by us. So we're going to want to be careful. We're working on these tough giants. But if the enemy team shows up, we need to get out. We don't want to die right before the seed spawns. And our team is missing a bit because they're bottom getting the giant camp for mid, the night camp for bottom, and we just got the giant camp for top. Cool. And the seed spawns in three seconds. Right, we're just waiting on people. There's no All reason right. to be there too early. Our team is rotating up for this. 
But the enemy team has to answer so many camps right now. So look at look what Phoenix does. He grabs all the aggro. Yep. Got in there, and I just get to channel right away. So that means by the time the gardeners are dead, the seed is already grabbed. So it's a great little strat you can employ at home in your own game. Ooh, nice. If you have Blank. at least one other person that's on board with it and knows what to do. So we secured a kill on the Alarak. We have Sonya mid here. She's going on the Phoenix. Oh no, he's gonna have to teleport out, but we're gonna shove her into oh, no, tower oh, no. range. Oh no, keep the Phoenix alive. I think he's okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> An incoming variant with a little tap. Sonya's gone off the map. So now we're gonna get aggressive again. We're gonna go after their giant's bottom. Looks like Anubrak was already helping us with that. I mean, his name is Cool James, so. What do you expect Cool James to do? Not help. All right, he received a heal from Alex, so we expect her to be there. He might try to dive in. He's got some stuns and some interrupts. Yep, there's the Alex, so we're just going to back up and let the... Oh, she went into the air, but that takes her off the field. Nice silence on the Anubrak there in the giant. Oh, get the false dad I, I can't stop that. Oh, let's back it up. Varian and Diva show up just in time to see the false dad die. However, the grab the giant camp that we have are focusing on Anubrak, so... Marion and Diva show up, body block them into the giants who are chucking their boulders. And we secure that well. kill. Now we're uh, rotating back to get a well. Diva's going to clear up bottom here. Got quite the push, quite the XP grab if we can kill those minions there. And the next seed is up. It's bottom mid. We're just going to clean the lane, get some more XP, because that'll give us a keep us at a two level lead. All right, there's Phoenix grabbing the aggro. Yep. So we're going to sneak past the Phoenix, and we're going to start gathering the seed. Alarak is by himself again, so Varian's ready to gank him. Our entire team is ready nice. to gank this Alarak. Wonderful taunts from the Varian. And down he goes with a completed burst shot by the Phoenix. Shove of Anubarak into the wall to kind of... Oh, actually... His disengaged from the team. Fall back, fall back, help. Yeah, nice. Anubarak tried to run backward, but we saw Planet Cracker going off on the, Fien on the Phoenix here. Working on the bottom keep. I think we can get because two are dead for at least 11 seconds. Yeah, I think, I think they're pretty denied. And then the next seed is going to spawn top toward the right there. Sonya getting some XP for the team, trying to work them back. Mm -hmm. She's not going to get too far, though, unfortunately. She's working on our top fort by herself. She did take Wrath of the Berserker, so she probably assumed she'd be laning by herself the whole time. But unfortunately, with as, as creative and responsive as Kyle's team has been, there's just no way for her to do that. So we're going to actually start on the enemy's giants in the mid lane here, get them off the map, get them pushing force the enemy team to deal with them the seed has spawned however it looks like varian and diva are playing with those poor poor enemy teammates okay we need to walk out of aggro mm -hmm. out of aggro phoenix is He's doing what he can get them all no we got one all right there we, there we go. go let's seven there we go phoenix has the other three false dad top actually by himself getting that pushed in some more and we get a second night phase now, if this isn't the end of the game, I think I think you guys have a good chance for this being the end of the game yeah. because bottom doesn't have a keep and that's pretty much pushed in. Top and the mid are all pushed in, but we still have to get these keeps. Enemy team is full up, so we still should be respectful of their abilities, but we do have a three level lead. So any fear from a Berserker Sonya or Zul Jin is completely gone. Varian going a little deep there, taking some damage, but we got some great heals, some great damage. There goes the Anubarak. Alex is in dragon form, but we are using... We have two terrors on the core. Soon to be... Nope, top terror went down because Sonya took it down. So we've just got two on the core. Sonya comes in with Wrath of the Berserker Pop. She is on the Phoenix, so we do need to get on her. We need to taunt her, which is what Varian has done. We got to keep our team healed, which is great job. Wonderful burst heal there. So Sonya's out. 12 seconds on the Anubrak. We should back up. Oh, no, we're around the court. We got giants, too. So we just got to keep the enemy team's zone. Focus on Corrin. We got this. Yeah, and that, my is. friends, is a GG. Hey, Stukov.
I enjoy getting to play Stukov. Were they giving? I mean, maybe. Maybe one or two of their teammates gave at that point. What's Sonya going to do at that point but get XP? Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised she, if the team was pretty mad was at her. She was defending top because she wanted to keep that keep. Look at this. Another giant slammer, oh. Sonya. Which works great when your level's ahead. Yeah. Life Funnel, Shot of Fury. After casting Seismic Slam, your next basic attack deals 40% more damage. Ooh, this variant didn't take Protected, too, and did the Giant Killer Charge. I like it. I, it's a fun build. It's a good call. And then he had two tanks to charge on there. There was a point where his life was saved by noting that he a had A tank and a bruiser, charge. pardon me. <laughs> so he was able to charge, much like Illidan does, a friendly mm. by taking that 10. And he used it and survived in one situation. Yeah. Sadly, we didn't get any virulent reactions. No, that's not okay. so, You guys won. We could have done an easier talent there since it never came to play. But mm. really, props to Phoenix for knowing how to do that trick where we get the seeds a little yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah, that was really nice. I have no idea. Oh, because we don't know how the enemy team was? We. It seems like they may have been arguing amongst themselves at some point. Mm. I also really like Stukov and Anubarak because Anubarak weak to auto attacks. You just smack, mm -hmm. smack him. And they took a uh, Zuljin, and I got to do the new bionic armor that was buffed Did recently. Did it feel good? Oh yeah, detonating bionic kill switch increases this bonus to seventy five <laughs> armor for two point five seconds. And it's physical armor into Taz Dingo, yeah. no less. You're gonna protect some fools who uh, are being auto attacked. Is the range talent on lurking arm back? It is in there. It's at the same level as Virulent Reaction. So we did the expanding because Alex was still squeezing in and we weren't able to get in position. The plan was... Uh, healer. The plan was to... Do Biotic Armor because of the Zul'jin. Take Growing Infestation, uh, but cannot be channeled for longer than four seconds. If we started to lose... I can do persist after canceling, cast oh. it, it gets larger, and I run for it, gotcha. which is a pretty good zone. But it's part of now it hungers and not part of the main text. Increase the arm, the Sorry, range of lurking arm by 20%. Gotcha. If lurking arm damages enemy heroes 12 times, its cooldown is reset and its mana cost is refunded. That's what I should have gone because we didn't land any viral reactions, which makes sense because viral reaction is super sweet, but I only play Stukov once in a blue mood when I have to support. Yeah. And half two is a strong word. Well, he's really a like great off. counter to Alex. Yeah, that too. That's for sure. Yeah, Ana was banned. So you're gonna but... force your team onto a circle that then silences mm -hmm. them if the Stukov knows what he's doing. 